I, when I heard that the nomination of uh, Loretta Onoche was rejected by the Senate, the first thought process that came through my mind was that this is a triumph of the will of Nigerians and a victory for our democracy. Because the nomination of, or let me call it the renomination of Onoche, after the forced rejection by Nigerians, which forced the hands of the President of the Senate to take away that nomination for eight months, announced Nicodemusly brought it back for screening up and confirmation. So it's a deliberate ploy to subvert the electoral process ahead of the 2023 election. And that was very worrisome to the People's Democratic Party and also to majority of Nigerians who, after the election of Edo State and the success that the transmission of results brought to our electoral process, believe that it was needless to bring anybody or any Nigerian that would pollute the environment of INEC into the commission. So for us in the Blue Democratic Party, and to majority of Nigerians, particularly in the civil society, in the media, and across party purposes that supported the Blue Democratic Party in this battle to ensure that the Royal Honorja is not brought close to the INEC, is very welcome. But as you know, just as Nigerians were demanding the rejection of Loretta Onoche's nomination. In the same vein, they are conversing that if we can vote electronically, we should be able to collate the results of our electronic voting electronically too. So Nigerians and the People's Democratic Party is of the hope and of the belief that our election results should be transmitted electronically. Because we know that all over the country, all over Nigeria, there is no way that you don't have network. And even from the explanation of INEC, it doesn't matter whether you have network or not. At any point in time, where you get to where there is network. It's like sending a message on WhatsApp. If it doesn't go, if it doesn't leave your phone, at the point in which you have sent the message, if you take some drive or some steps out of that premises, you get network and you can transfer your message. It is the same thing. Most of we are registering WAIC, we are registering for JAM, and we are doing all this electronically. We are transferring money to our respective states, local governments, and wards, and we are doing this electronically. So why is it that it's only when we come? And is, is it not even disorienting that we will agree that we can vote electronically? but we will collect the result of our election in a manual process. That in itself does not show us as people who are prepared to advance our cause in this nation. So for us in the Democratic Party, we believe that we must ensure that voting in 2023 and even in the off-season election, we urge INEC to allow us to continue to practice electronic transmission of results, as well as the use of card reader, and as well as the use of permanent voters card, in a manner that will strengthen our desire to also be part of the best global practices. That's the position of the People's Democratic Party. Okay. Well, the issue of whether Senate is a rubber stamp or not will not be assessed on the basis of what happened today. It's just a one-off situation. So we cannot, from this Rejection of Loretta Onoche declared that, oh, the Senate has ceased to be a robust stamp Senate. There are other issues. For instance, the Amendment to Electoral Act 2010, particularly Section 52, in which some people, Nicodemusly, went and inserted a clause that says that we can vote electronically provided we are not going to collect the results electronically. The Senate must rise to the demands of Nigerians and address that section of the Electoral Act and ensure that moving from here, both our votes and the collation must be done electronically.